Hi everyone, welcome back to Joanne Tech Lover. I'm Joanne and I'll be taking a look at this Corsair Hydro GFX 980 Ti liquid cooled graphics card. Corsair teamed up with MSI to create this masterpiece and is factory overclocked by 20% which gives you amazing performance out of the box. Let's see what you get in the box. First up is a quick user's guide as well as a booklet highlighting the card's features. And included is an MSI driver and utility CD with afterburner for your overclocking needs. Finally is this 6-pin to 8-pin PCIe power cable and mounting screws for the radiator. The Hydro GFX comes with a matte black PCB with a metal backplate over it for passive cooling and stability. It measures 10.5 inches in length and it's a double slot design. There's also a 70mm radio fan on the card housing with MSI logo nestled in the center. Beneath the plexiglass window is the Corsair water cooling unit with microfin copper base. This is a closed shroud design, but here's a peek at the aluminum fins. The fins along with the card fan help cool the current and voltage supply. The radiator and fan combo only covers the GPU. Here are the two SLI connectors for running up to four cards in SLI. The only thing you need to worry about is room for all those radiators. And these are the 8-pin and 6-pin PCIe power connectors. On the other side is the PCIe 3.0 X16 connector. On the rear of the card are the ports. It comes with one dual-link DVI connector, one HDMI 2.0 connector, and three DisplayPort 1.2A connectors. Of course, you'll need vents to help the 70mm radial fan to push hot air out the back. The two water cooling tubes thread from the top of the card and measure about 300 millimeters. This card is cooled by a 120 millimeter aluminum radiator plus silent fan. Looks like there are mounting points for a second fan so you can do a push-pull config. It's time for specs. This card is powered by the NVIDIA GTX 980 Ti GPU, which features the Maxwell 28 nanometer GM200 chip with 2816 CUDA cores and 6 gigs of GDDR5 video memory. Corsair's reported core clock is 1190 MHz, which is a 19% increase over the reference 1000 MHz 980 Ti. And the boost clock is 1291 MHz, which is a 20% increase over the reference card. But during testing, I was able to achieve a massive 1392 MHz core clock without tweaking any additional settings. As for the video memory, it's clocked at 7096 MHz effective, which is about 100 MHz over the reference design. And you get a 384-bit memory bus, with a max TDP of 280 watts. The Hydro GFX is cooled by the Corsair Hydro Series H55 liquid cooler, which should run up to 30 degrees C cooler than the typical air-cooled configurations. Here's a look at some of the card's other offerings, such as DirectX 12 and OpenGL 4.4 support, G-Sync compatibility, and the like. It's recommended to have a 600 watt or greater PSU on board. You also get a three-year warranty. Lovely. Let's install the card. I'll be placing it in my Skylake PC. Remove any incompatible fans at the rear, like my 140 millimeter. Then slot in the 980 Ti first, secure the card with screws, and make sure the power cables are plugged in. Screw in the radiator plus fan setup at the rear of the case, and don't forget to plug the fan in. I connected it to a fan hub on the right side of my case. Here's how the setup looks once the system has been turned on. As you can see, the fan LED is white and the MSI logo lights up yellow. It's a really simple setup, yay! Now let's mosey on over to benchmarks. First up is GTA 5 at 2K and 4K running stock clock. The Hydro GFX was getting 69.72 FPS on average at 1440p. At 4K, it was achieving a respectable 36.56 FPS on average. Next up is Just Cause 3. At 4K, the average FPS was 45.2, and it was 75.48 FPS at 2K. Last one is Project Cars. At 4K, I was getting 63.56 FPS, and at 2K, it was running 88.4 FPS. During benchmarking, the max temp observed for the Hydro GFX was 47 degrees C. The ambient room temperature was 21 degrees. Compared to a reference 980 Ti card, the Hydro GFX was 31 degrees cooler. That wraps it up for this look at the Corsair Hydro GFX GTX 980 Ti liquid cooled graphics card. If you like what you saw and you want to see more like it, be sure to hit the like, comment, and subscribe buttons, as well as follow me on social media, Joanne Tech Lover Facebook, Joanne Tech Lover again on Twitter, and Joanne Tech Lover once more on Instagram. Also, be sure to check out my other YouTube channels, JTL Lifestyle and JTL Cuteness Overload. I guess all that's left to say is bye!